Hello, Assalamu Alaikum. Welcome to the Getting Started series. In this video, uh, I will show you two things. Number one, how can you get the versions which I commit from the GitHub, and then uh, I will finish the assignment of the calculator which I have given in the part two. So let's start it. So to uh, get the course from the github first go to this url github.com slash faisal korim slash online course then go to getting started c sharp part 2 and uh, for example we want to fetch what i have committed in the part 1 so go to the uh, go to into, into the uh, cs file and go to history i want to see the history of this page or of, of this file so let's click it history of this page so we have two history of this so part two and getting started so let's click on the getting started and scroll down you should check only the uh, program.cs file here it is program.cs and it was the first initial commit click the view okay so you have fetched what I have, what I have uh, coded into the part one or the initial uh, commit and, and currently uh, the latest one is part two so go to part two and you can see this part two easily just click on clicking on here this is the second one so thus you can get the previous codes of the project now I want to create a simple calculator so as you can guess the calculator has might have different operations I will just do two operation in here number one add and number two subtract so let's write public um, to make it uh, in, uh, simple let's create integer is return type public integer um, add and it will take two parameter first second and return first plus second similarly I'll create another method and it will also take second and we will subtract the second one from the first one we have created two method so how can we call these let's uh, yes we need to convert the one mm, we can replace that okay since you are now quite uh, good enough so I'm removing the comments this should be first num string and after conversion it's the first and similarly just copying pasting it's the second number and we'll press it second now what will what will I do I will call the add method well I don't see any add method here why is that because we are now sitting in the main function and please check main function is static so to call another function from a static function should be also be static now I'm calling add and you can see this add function is right here I can see it right now so your first assumption is uh, first task is to create function and then put it as static second question if I want to show it then I need to store it inside of a variable so let's write here uh, sum and sum sorry I wrote it as a sub right so here is going another tips 
how can I rename it very quickly? Well, I know the shortcut keys, but to let you know, I'm right clicking, go to refactor, and here is the command. It's rename, it's F2. So I'm pressing just F2 and sum. So the variable is automatically changed and renamed. Similarly, I can call the subtract also and the multiply and the divide, but I'm not going to do that right now. Instead, what I will show, I will create another class and from this function, we will call that class and from that class, I will call this method. Okay, let's draw a p image for that. For example, I'm inside of this class. It is the program.cs. I will create another file that means class and I'm going to name it as calculator.cs. Currently, I have two method in here. So, it's number one and number two it is the add and subtract and here is another method which is the main function so I'm just I'm going to write this main function sorry it is the add function and it's the subtract function currently we are calling these functions from here but what we will do we will cut these two functions and put it into the calculator file and call the same functions from here I guess it's clear to you so let's create another class right click add class calculator I'm doing it as a public and I'm just cut it and paste it and you can check that <laughs> Resharp is automatically do the refactoring for me. It is automatically added the calculator name and the function name automatically. So what's happening here? Okay, there is a mistake. I need to second string. Okay. So what's happening here is we are calling the calculator class, which is this class and calling the add method which is this one and passing two parameters first and second first and second these are getting added and returned returned to into the sum like this So I'm going to run it. Dosh 10, 20, and it's 30. Please input first number. Copy. Please input second number. And this sum is run again now it's 25 35 it's 60 so you can create uh, other methods for me or for yourself and do the other things in the next video uh, I will show how can we create a desktop application and call this function from the UI from the desktop application which is in Windows form application. So stay tuned. Allah Hafiz.